Hello everyone. This is a problem from JE Advanced 2010. Dear students, I hope you would have tried this problem. If you have got all the parts of this, it's good. Suppose if you are stuck at any part of this, by watching this, I am very sure that you will have a better idea about how to connect the concepts. So there are three questions associated with it. Let me mark them. So we need to find the total energy ideas and time period or other ideas we'll see then the acceleration of the particle so there are three questions associated with this paragraph first let's check out what they have given when the particle of mass m moves on the x-axis in a potential of the form v of x which is k x square type it performs simple harmonic motion the corresponding time period is proportional to root of m by k this is given as can be seen use as can be seen by using dimensional analysis so they are just giving us a, like you can easily verify that by using dimensional analysis it seems then however the motion of the particle can be periodic even when the potential energy increases on both these sides of the origin or x equals zero in a way different from kx squared and its total energy is such that the particle does not escape to infinity this idea is important consider a particle of mass m moving on the x-axis its potential energy is given by v of x equals alpha x power 4 where alpha is greater than 0 and the details of this function is as shown here your students here you can observe this is x naught about this point if you are going beyond this right towards right hand side the potential energy is given to be v naught okay so you can mark that this as minus x naught up to this point if you are working anywhere here in this side left hand side of minus x naught or right hand side of plus x naught the potential value right potential value is v naught potential energy value is v naught okay so suppose if you are working in this range between minus x naught to plus x naught the potential energy is given by the equation alpha x power 4 so they have given potential energy format so we can just observe now and try to solve this problem okay so very first step is suppose if you think of energy total energy of the particle we know that it is sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy okay now say if it is conservative forces if there is conservative forces involved and if there is no loss of energies then you know that as kinetic energy increases potential energy decreases and total energy will be conserved total energy would be conserved so all these ideas i hope you know you are aware of okay but here when we think of the potential energy curve they have given this is a level where the potential energy they are defining it as v naught okay and they are also saying that a particle which we are working right let me assume that particle will have some kinetic energy and some potential energy okay so kinetic energy k and potential energy u the total energy would be e suppose if i take the particle at x equals zero if i choose some particle this particle at this point let's say at x equals zero its potential energy would be zero the entire energy the total energy right will manifest as only kinetic energy at this location suppose if the particle is taken at a location somewhere here i'm just randomly taking as x1 at x1 we know that the entire kinetic energy will disappear and the energy will appear here as potential energy meaning total energy will manifest as potential energy at this location similarly at this location we know that somewhere like minus of x1 it is symmetric right so we can say here the total energy will manifest as potential energy again so we know that potential energy to kinetic energy it will be converting and there is no loss of energy definitely from minus x1 to plus x1 it will be a periodic okay so it keeps oscillating but we have recognized that if this periodic motion is following the rule like acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement with like say to be with vectors if we take it as acceleration is directly proportional to negative of the displacement then we know it will execute simple harmonic motion right so what if if this particle is allowed to oscillate in a similar fashion 
then it will be oscillating from plus a to minus a and this might be simple harmonic motion that we have to check okay now i want you to visualize suppose if a particle is here okay somewhere here you know that it has part potential energy from here to this point it is potential energy right we can highlight this idea from here to this point it is potential energy okay and from this point to this one it is going to be kinetic energy so total energy at this point total energy is the summation of both potential energy as well as kinetic energy okay so at this extreme edge you know that entire energy will be potential energy now by just this comparison what if we take a particle having this much of energy okay say e dash then definitely it can overcome and if you observe here it can easily escape this particular barrier there won't be any returning back of the particle but what about at this level if it encounters this point the entire kinetic energy will be lost and it has to return back correct so again if it hits this one it has to return back because here the entire energy will be converted into potential energy format so again because of the unbalanced force it has to move back towards right hand side so with this approach we can easily say as long as our energy as long as our energy is a less than v naught value we can say uh, the particle which we are working right that will be bound to this potential meaning it cannot escape from this potential correct then also in order to show the oscillation definitely its energy should be greater than zero so this is the condition or bounds through which we are working right so we'll check out the first question we have if the total energy of the particle is e it will perform periodic motion only if so the first one e should be less than zero so that is not correct e should be greater than zero this is acceptable here e should be greater than zero and less than v naught this is more suitable because see if it is greater than zero it could be anything right what if e is greater than v naught then it escapes out of the potential right so in that sense it is not allowed is that okay so i hope you got the idea and of course even the same explanation we can reject this particular option as well so we got this is wrong and this is the right solution okay the second one for periodic motion of small amplitude a the time period t of this particle is proportional to so we have to work for small amplitudes meaning as we were describing here the x value right that should be very very small so for that kind of situation whether can this be simple harmonic is our question they have given v is equal to alpha x power 4 right and i hope you know that this is potential energy so the connection between potential energy and the conservative force is given by minus dv by dx in one dimensions i hope most of you know this but if you want that kind of concepts to be discussed by me so please tell me that in the comment section i will check it out so we have minus alpha 4 x power 3 so i'm just differentiating this and we'll have fc being equal to minus 4 of alpha x square times of x so i'm writing this x cube as x square times of x for a reason because you can easily compare this one with our k effective times of x okay now here we can observe our k effective is 4 alpha x squared or k effective is proportional to alpha x squared because 4 is anyhow constant okay so let me write that k effective equals 4 alpha x squared okay suppose if i am working with some amplitude say here i'm using x to be a right because i'm choosing x to be very small and it is very close to the origin if x is defined by me as amplitude a so you might be thinking like sir can we change the k value by changing the amplitude of course if k is a function of x right k is a function of x then depending upon the amplitude even k effective will change but normal spring block system doesn't have that because in spring block system you know that k is given by root of like say k equals m omega m omega squared so by this you know that m and omega are constant so k is anyhow constant but here k depends on x right so depending on the amplitude k effective will be decided so once you store the energy 
you are giving the amplitude for it right so k effective is given by this relation then using our formulation 2 pi root of m by k this is our formula for spring block system but in this problem we are just using this as a proportionality because this is given in the question okay by using dimensional analysis dimensional analysis we know that this is given so here we are using this one as k effective so t is proportional to root of m by k effective value as 4 alpha a squared so we can write it as t is directly proportional root of m by okay let me write this one as 1 by a here alpha so this is what our solution is we'll check it out we have any such option or not we have 1 by a root of m by alpha this second option dear students i hope you got like how to get this kind of answer by using this but i want you to even tell me like is it is there any possibility by just using dimensional analysis can you filter these options like a b c d with respect to second question and is is that the better way just explore and try to learn in that way and if you get some insights please post that in the comment section then the acceleration of this particle for x greater than x naught as we move beyond x naught we know that potential is going to be constant either positive x naught or negative x naught potential is going to be constant right so as conservative force connection with like potential energy function is minus dv by dx if v is constant and it, if it is v naught then variation of potential energy with respect to x won't happen so it is going to be zero any differentiation of constant is zero so conservative force or any kind of force on it would be zero so we can expect the acceleration should be zero now what if they have asked the same question like where mod x is less than x naught okay meaning we are in this zone right so in that zone what would happen to the acceleration such questions you just think about it and if you get some answers please post that in the comment section so i hope you understood this explanation and it would have cleared all your doubts i hope so if there is anything which you have like confusion with respect to what i have explained feel free to post that in the comment section here thank you everyone